we've talked a lot about irritant exposure um, and I guess irritant exposure for me is super important because there's just so many things that can be an irritant for people going through topical steroid withdrawals so do you think there's enough knowledge in the tsw community about irritant exposure no no i i feel that it still needs a lot of time for the information to kind of leak into the community mm. and when i went to thailand myself um, in the clinic, they will keep talking about it at every session, uh, what to take care of, how to avoid it, uh, what irritants are, why they affect the skin. And it took me a big time to land, you know, in my psyche, in my mind, that irritants are indeed a big thing. And it's really important in TSW to understand what irritants is, are and how they can affect your skin and why they do delay your healing rate. Mm. And this is also why this is a good subject to repeat, repeat, repeat over and over again uh, until it sinks in. And this is also why, why I think it's good to talk about it again. Mm. I see a lot of people in the community posting, and this, this is on the groups on Facebook, and they flare, like they have a period of good skin and they flare and they have really, really no idea. And the, the wildest things are said online, why people flare. Um, and it's not in the mindset that there is uh, the irritant exposure uh, plays an enormous role. Of course, you have other triggers as well, like your menses can play a role. Drinking yep. alcohol, uh, maybe having eaten an, a, a food you're allergic to. Uh, mm. Maybe uh, there was stress, there was not enough sleep, anything else. But irritants are things that you never reacted to before. And so it's not in the mindset of people that these can cause the flare mm. so we're talking really about perfumes deodorants um dishwashing liquid detergent to clean your house mm. new furniture with chemicals on the new new uh, a new car a renovation like glue in the air anything that's in the air you can smell yeah. also touches your skin and can irritate irritate your skin because it's thinned and so open yeah and um i've heard example from people that sometimes mm -hmm. have to move their house Mm. You no, know, so they go to the clinic and Jay sees that there are no healing signs. It's not flaking, it stays red. That means there is irritant exposure. Mm. And if people can't find out what it is, because sometimes it's around their house and some people live near to a construction site or they uh, like a, a type of industry with, with chemicals in the air. Mm. So there are there are examples from people that only heal when they move or when they change their job mm. and this is quite astonishing that sometimes people are stuck in TSW for years and years on end mm. not knowing that there's irritant exposure going on so again this is something to really educate yourself about that at a certain point when you through the worst period of TSW mm. and basically you always have irritant exposure in that in, in that time because you're really very affected but at a certain point you can see your skin is healing it mm. becomes lighter, the uh, redness uh, gets darker red or maybe subsides completely. You start to get really nice flaking. Please keep the flaking on your skin. It will protect your skin as well against mm. irritants. Mm. Uh, and you see that, that the skin becomes more whitish with flakes on it. Mm. Then you know that you're in a in a good healing phase and you, you shouldn't flare up unless there is a trigger. Yeah. So that's really important. Like. Um, really uh, find out why you flare uh, is a it is difficult detective work yeah uh, but it's really important to, to do yeah be yeah. aware why you flare there are many chemicals in the air it's a beautiful slogan <laughs> yeah. 